am I doing the right thing? Because yesterday I had a little moment of panic, like an influx of fear, where I thought to myself, what am I doing? What am I doing here? I just didn't know whether I had made a mistake, whether I had made the wrong decision. And this is in the least risky part of me becoming a full-time content creator. This is in the part where I'm possibly most secure. For those of you that don't know, I was made redundant and I'm on garden leave right now, which means I'm still being paid for the next five months or so. So there's really no risk to me not doing this right now, not committing to this full time. But the fear wasn't really about money or what I'm going to do financially or any of that. It was more about whether I am good enough to produce content, for people to consume my content and to get something out of it, something, whether that be emotional, whether it be uh, entertainment, whatever that might be, it was more of a fear of my ability to be able to achieve what I want to achieve. And just last night I was thinking, you know, am I putting enough into this? Am I doing enough? Am I giving enough to it? For the past couple of weeks, there's been so many times where I thought I shouldn't be here doing what I'm doing now. I should be out in my cabin streaming live, producing more content, doing stuff. And there are days where I struggle to bring myself to get the camera out and to stand in front of it and to film stuff. And that's not because I don't enjoy doing it. It's just because I'm a serial procrastinator. I've been pretty consistent over the past six months or so and even more consistent over the past month or so. And things are progressing, but there is something in the back of my mind always saying, you should be doing more than you are now. You should be further along than you are now. And that's with everything I've ever done. When I was in my 20s, I felt like I should have achieved more than I have. When I was in my 30s, early 30s, I felt like I should have achieved more than I have. Even when I was earning 100 grand a year and was at the you know, the top of my career, I I was at the most senior position I could be within the company that I was at. Even then, I wasn't sure that I'd achieved enough. A hundred thousand pounds wasn't enough. It should be 200,000 pounds. It should be a million pounds. It should be all of these things. Now, I came to realize that the money didn't really make any difference to me at a certain point. It didn't make me any happier. It didn't bring me any more joy. And I knew that I needed to be doing something creative. And that's why I started doing this. If you go back maybe a year, year and a half, I couldn't even understand why people watched live streamers. I could not get my head around how someone could sit there and just watch someone else play games. And now I'm, that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm sitting there and expecting people to watch me play games. And there are a group of people that are, so, so supportive to me. And there are more new people coming in every day. Just today, I had two new people subscribe to me on TikTok. And that is only a small investment on their part. But I tell you what, it it means so much to me. But that's part of the risk with putting yourself out there on social media, right? Is that your only gauge, the only perceived gauge of what is good or not, is whether you're getting likes and follows and subscribers. That's a difficult place to be. I heard someone describe social media companies and big tech companies as the dopamine cartel. And they were essentially saying that, you know, their whole system, their whole reason for being is to get people to engage with their platforms and ultimately, you know, sell them things on those platforms for advertisers to be able to sell them things. That's fine. That's an industry... I've worked here for many, many years. My whole career has been based around selling people things that they didn't necessarily need or want, you know, impulse purchases. I've spent the last five years specifically focusing on how to market e-commerce businesses to people more effectively. But I don't want to be at the beck and whim of whether I'm getting likes or not. I, I, I want to get the likes, but I don't want to be dependent on those likes in order to continue what I'm doing. I don't want to be dependent on followers to be uh, to be continuing what I'm doing. But it is a necessary part of what I do. 
And I think it reminds me of when I did comedy and I used to, you know, I used to write jokes about current events, for example. And those jokes might have some kind of political le- lean to them. They might, they might take the mick out of right wing politics, for example. I don't really care about politics. I don't really care whether you lean right or left. I don't care about any of that. I just wanted to create stuff that was funny. And if that spully stuff came from that environment, I was fine with that. But I didn't care about it in my real life. My kind of stage persona did. I think that's where I need to get to with social media, where I am within those platforms, but I'm not hugely affected by whether they are, they're not feeding my ego. They're not feeding my drive to do this. I'm doing this because it fulfills me creatively. But I also need to accept that I'm going to have those moments of anxiety and I'm going to have those moments of fear. And that is absolutely natural. The thing that I need to make sure I do is get back down here every morning, get my camera out, turn my stream on and start talking to the people who are investing in me as a creator, the people who are investing their time to watch me, investing their money to support the stream. Those are the people that matter. And I have this habit of looking at other people, even people that support me, even people that are kind to me and give me tips. I look at them and think, I should be where you are. I should have the same amount of followers that you are. I'm sure this is natural. I'm sure there are people that look at me. I look at my progress and I think it's been slow to average. I'm sure there's people that look at me and think that my progress has been quick. And I look at other people and think, Jesus, they are absolutely rocketing. They are doing something. They have something that I don't have yet. And they are absolutely killing it. You know, I look at people with half the amount of followers, but triple the amount of subscribers. And I'm in my head, I'm thinking, how are they doing that? Am I so much worse than them that people are investing in them so much more than me? I don't think it's about that. I'm trying to come at this and produce content and create things from a place of abundance, that there is enough room for everyone. There is enough room for me to give away all my best ideas and trust that more will come. There's enough room for other people to give me their best ideas and trust that there is more to come. That is where I'm trying to come at this at. But it is difficult. It is tough to to put everything into something and it not get the reception you want. Or to produce a video that you think, this is this is the one, this is the hit. I've put so much into it. I think it's got a good hook. I think it's got a good payoff. I think it's got all of these things. And for it to not go where you think it should go. Now, I never, ever want to become, and I want you guys to hold me account to this, I never want to become that guy that's like, the platform hates me, the platform's hiding my content, the platform's doing this, the platform's doing that. I have to believe that if I produce things that are good enough and that people are engaged with and causes a reaction in people, that it will get in front of the right people at the right time. And I don't even care if it's 200 people or 1,000 people or 10,000 people, I will appreciate that it's got in front of those people and those people have had some kind of reaction to it. Part of the problem is I can't see anything from other people's point of view. I just see raw numbers on a page and they don't really tell a story other than the one I want to tell myself. So I could look at the last seven days and here's why I'm annoyed with myself about this. Here's why I'm annoyed with myself about getting caught up in this stuff. I remember when I was only getting 200 views a video. And I remember when my aim was to get to 10,000 followers, which has only been recent, and my aim was to to get 100,000 views in a month. Pretty consistently now, I'm getting 80 to 100,000 views a week on my content. Why the, Why am I complaining? Why am I worried? Why am I scared? The progression is happening. I just need to appreciate it more. I just need to look back and say, look at where you've come from. Look at what you were trying to achieve before and look at where you are now. One of the big problems with this is that it never ends. There is never a point where you go, I'm done and I've achieved the things I want to do. There is always another goal. There's always another thing that I'm trying to achieve. I just wanted to get off my chest that yesterday I felt it a bit. I was in a bit of a funk. I don't know what was wrong with me. I just had this thing in 
my chest where I was like, fuck, what am I doing? Is this the right thing to do? Those are normal questions. Those are normal things to ask yourself. I have to trust the process. I have to keep pushing forward. And, and it's not because I want to get more followers. And it's not because I want to get more likes. It's because I want to be able to have an effect on as many people as I can and hope that that effect is largely positive. And, and to deliver fun and insightful stuff to as many people as I can. And hopefully those people will come along on the journey. Anyway, I, I'm out of the funk. Weirdly, the day after, i.e. today, the day after the, the I'm struggling and I'm not sure and I'm a bit anxious and I'm a bit fearful and I don't know if I'm good enough and all of those thoughts, that little voice in the back of your head that just fucking nags at you and questions you and forces you to qualify while you're doing something, forces you to push through, that little voice was just going on yesterday. But today, I got down, I streamed earlier than I usually do, I got two new subscribers into the stream, I don't know them, they just came in today and they subscribed and they supported me, and my god, the, that even that small investment in me, that little bit of support, it's like there's something going on out there that says, hey, here's just a little reminder of why you're doing this. Here's a little reminder that you're never going to feel like you're ready and you're never going to feel like you've reached the end point because the end point is always changing. Anyway, this is a weird charm diaries, but I wanted to force myself to get in front of the camera and record something. Everything was trying to stop me. My mic didn't charge for some reason, so the audio is a bit glitchy. I apologise about that. I'm using a shotgun mic instead of a model power mic. Um, I I just tried everything not to do this, which meant I had to do this. I appreciate you guys. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you on the next one.